This is my main account, Zulu. With over 3 billion XP, 43 of the 52 pets in game, thousands of clue scrolls, and over 1200 days of playtime, you would think that I have an impressive collection log. There's just one problem. Most of these achievements were before the collection log even existed. Join me on my journey to fill as many slots as I can. Real quick, before we begin, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm giving away an Armadil chest plate, and all you have to do to enter is like and comment. Subscribing is optional, but if you've been enjoying the return of my main and the collection log series, why not? I gave away a Dragon Warhammer last video, and I'll be showing the winner of that at the end of this video. For the sake of series continuity, Muspa came out between the time of last episode's end and this episode's start. But I finished the Muspa and showed that in another video on my channel called I Completed RuneScape's Newest Boss in Four Days. If you want to check that out and see my loot, you can, but these are the screenshots of my collection log slots. What if Raid Shadow Legends sponsored this video? You'd get to hear all about its awesome collection of over 700 unique champions, a super detailed and tactical RPG battle system, incredible graphics, and intense combination of PvE and PvP content. Well, lucky for you, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, So let me tell you some more. Every great game has some serious challenges waiting near the end. Something you can really dig your teeth into if you want to master it. Well, in Raid Shadow Legends, that end game is the Doom Tower, and it's a heck of a ride. This huge tower is basically a giant prison. To climb to the top, you're going to need to find an army of champions. The regular Doom Tower floors tend to be pretty easy to deal with if you've just got a strong team, but the bosses are really tough and you need some serious specialists if you're going to beat them. I could go on for ages talking about how to try and fight these bosses, but the real fun is trying things out and experimenting for yourself. What I personally like about Raid is how often they're running events and making updates. Whether it's trying out a new champion, jumping into a community event, or participating in a tournament, there's always something new to try. For example, this April, Raid started an egg hunt, but we're not hunting for normal eggs, we're hunting for dragons dragon eggs. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below or copy your in-game player ID and head over to egghunt.plarium.com from April 14th to May 15th. Enter your player ID and then journey through the flaming portal to embark on an exciting AR adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes, ranging from legendary raid champion to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. This event is for new players, but existing raid players can join in on the excellent fun as well. Just go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in game. Actually, that reminds me, with all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking epic champion Talia from the Sacred Order faction and other useful things. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name Zulu the Gamer. And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. I ended last episode by making my return to Cerberus. And for those of you who don't know, I have over 7,000 KC there. But the only things on my log are the pet and the three key master teleports that I got last episode. So I have to complete the boss all over again. I had 20 plus of every crystal. I had at least three jars, but unfortunately, due to the nature of when the collection log came out, I have to go back to all the bosses that I may or may not have already completed. I also did 50 Bryophyta in one trip last video, and the Bryophyta's essence is still something that I don't have. It is a 1 in 128, so we're starting this video off with me collecting some keys and making my return. This is insane, dude. I, last night, I got two champion scrolls in one AFK trip, and... This today I've gotten two champion scrolls in one AFK trip. Let's just let's just take a little gander into the bank real quick. Giant champion scroll. I have eight. Now mossy keys, I'm doing actually pretty good. I have 65 of those right now. Uh if I get to 72, I think that'll get me to exactly 128 KC. So pretty decent. I kept AFKing for the rest of the day and got to 77 keys before starting my stream. Go in. Why is there not like a yes and don't ask again? I hate that so much. Yes, we two hit it. Let's go. First kill. Doing the prayer be on the ground. What kind of pseudo Iron Man are you? I'm 200 well prayer, dude. Bro, this is looking bleak. We're getting close to the rate. Oh no. I hope I don't become one of those guys that has to kill a thousand of these or whatever. Another mossy key, bringing us up to 80 for this session. Prage, this is the drop rate. Addy kite, that's not an essence. Now I'm dry. I'm dry officially. Man. 140 KC, no Bryophyta's Essence. 
Over a mil on that, though. How much did we actually get in total off of that, then? Whoa, I made a whole 1.3 mil. Let's go. Oh, wait, plus these. 1.4 mil. Let's go. Unfortunately, I had to return to Moss Giants as my AFK activity when I'm not live and when I'm working on stuff. So did that and uh, back to Cerberus. Where's my crystals? My collection log looks so pathetic. It looks so sad. Four easies, two elites, six hards, GL. Nothing off that one. Nothing off that one. Nothing off that one. And nothing off that one. Six hards, GL. Nothing. 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 How am I getting like repeats? Like crazy repeats. No collection log stuff, dude. Two elites. Nothing. Nothing. Bro. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> Task complete. Still nothing on the log besides the key master teleport. So those hellhounds gave me one log slot. Sick. I do have a master clue though. I don't, I, I think when I opened the clues last night, I didn't pay attention. And I actually got a master from one of them. Or maybe I got it from a birdhouse run. But what do we get? Nothing. Okay, cool. All right. What are we going to get? Skeletal wyverns. You know, for the collection log, I actually, this is a task that I should do, right? Because I need the... Wait, no, ske no not skeletals. Fossil Island is what I would do. Never mind. Dagonoth. Am I missing something on the DK's task? Or the DK's log? I think I'm missing one thing on DK's. Yeah, I'm missing an archers. I could do the supreme, like, hot, like uh, method where I, like, only kill supreme in both rooms. I think I'm gonna go to Briya Fida now, though, actually. I think Briya Fida is a good shout because I have, uh, what case am I at on Briya? 140, and I have 39 keys in my bank. So we'll get to like 180 ish because we'll probably get a couple keys from it. Let's go to Briya Fida. Look at that. I said we get another mossy key, and we did. Have keys always stacked? Uh, not gonna lie, I don't think so. But I don't remember. <laughs> no, I don't think they did. I don't think they did, no. Believers win. Bryophyte's essence is done. I understand that's a pretty weird clip with me just dancing, but if you want to dance along, Electric Callboy, we got the moves around 25 seconds into that video. I'm not gonna play it here because copyright. Potentially the last Bryophyta kill I'm ever gonna do. Bryophyta's essence is done. Let's look at that log, dude. Ah, oh, another green log. This log took me hundreds of hours and only has one item. All right, you wanna know the crazy thing I got while going for this? Eight. I got eight giant champion scrolls. How do you turn this into the Bryophyte of Staff? A battle staff? Ooh. That was kind of cool looking. Somehow, this wasn't the end of the night. It was around midnight, but I was like, you know what? There's a couple of things I can go for, and I'll try to get them, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, you'll just see. My luck was crazy in this like 45 minute span. <laughs> Bro, uh, tonight's my night, boys. <laughs> what are we saying? What are we, what are we saying to that? <laughs> Let's go. Dragonstone rune done. Let's go. That was so fast. Dude, tonight's been insane. I've only been live for like, what, two hours tonight? And I did, I finished my Serb task and then I get the Bryophyte's Essence. I finished the Rune Dragonstone and I get the Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seed. Dude, no way, man. Let's go. <laughs> That's a, it's a great night, dude. It's a great night. These are how much each? Like three, three four mil, two mil? Oh, they're, they're cheap. I should buy some more. I right, know I finished Rune Dragonstone. What am I saying? I don't even need more. I don't need it. Oh man, let's go. Let's go. Do some clues for third age. Man, 
I don't have any clues in the bank, do I? I only have a beginner. I just realized the end of my stream and didn't show the collection log. Dude, look at that. That whole row is done now. Finish the Dragonstone Gauntlets and the Enhanced Crystals. Look at those, dude. Let's go. I have, what, 41 of these now? So I'm missing all the Evil Chicken, the Dragon Metal, the Dragon Full Helm, and Chewed Bones, which I'll start probably AFK grinding some of those soon. Warhammer and the Merfolk Trident. Oh, and the Glory. Oh, I gotta buy some Glories. If you remember that DK's task, I did do it where I only killed Supreme. Basically, you go in and out of the Slayer room and the normal room for DK's. Only kill the one boss you need to kill if you'll need one item or one pet. And then you repeat that. I didn't get the Archer's Ring still. But the next night, I had my Shadow, my T-Bow, and my ZCV lent out. So I was waiting on someone to maybe lend me those so I could go do the Muspa Elite tasks to get Elite back. Because as those tasks came out, I lost Elite even though I just got it and I started my stream with some Cerberus. If I got a task I didn't want to do tonight, I was considering doing that actually. Hey, I don't think I've ever been so happy for a Pagasian. My first ever crystal at 7230KC. My first ever crystal. <laughs> so unlucky, I know, dude, I'm so unlucky. Under three minutes, okay, without running. Two different styles. We'll try the first two first. Or the other or the the one without running will if I have supplies, I'll try for it, but otherwise I will come back another trip for it. Tell me that 66% worked, dude. I hope that 66% chance worked. Did I get it? Nice. Wait, I got sub three and I got versatile drainer, which was the one I needed. Okay. So now I need to get the no run one. I'm just finishing up the elites again real quick. All right, there we go. Can't escape done. That should be all of the elites done again. I believe, wait, oops. Yep, okay, let's go reclaim that real quick and then back to Cerberus. All right, Mr. Get on my level. Give me my rewards back. Give me my rewards back. I very quietly said, thanks, dude. I don't know why I was so quiet, but yeah, I got my rewards back. Midas pet hunting. No, I have the pet. I'm trying to get my second ever crystal. Oh my god, I just got it. My first ever primordial. No way. My first one ever at 7265kc. No way. Hey, my second ever Keymaster teleport drop. Let's go. Man. I mean, I'm happy I finally got my second ever Pagasian crystal. But it's not one of the ones I'm missing, dude, you know? Yo, my third ever Keymaster teleports. Let's go. Most streamers redo content yearly, i.e. hardcore streams. True. You have to redo content because you made a new account. I have to redo content because the collection log didn't exist. We are not the same. Oh, you're a very skilled slayer. All right, I guess we're going back to Hellhounds. Whoa, no way. It's like my fifth ever time getting the Keymaster teleport. Hey, I got an elite clue scroll. I should be doing every elite I can, right? Forever and ever and ever and ever because I'm never gonna get third age. If I don't do that, elite clue, musketeer pants. Let's go. We got another elite item. How many elite items are we at? Seven out of 59. Musketeer pants though. All right, elite clue and nothing. Key master teleports for the last kill of the task. I'm never gonna get an eternal jar smoldering dude. Ever, never, ever, ever. Oh. Sup. I did not mean to open that right away. I got no uniques out of it. Okay. Well, I need to go back there. I might finish 200 mil fire making before I get it. I don't know. Do people get 99 without getting a tome chat? Is that like pretty normal? I don't know what tome rate is, but I'm like the XP of 99 off of 200 mil. So there's a chance that I don't get a, a tome. You got one on your at 99? There's a chance I don't get it on the way to 200 mil. It is a rate of one in a thousand from chests. So if I did solos or like the 13k point method, I probably would get it before getting 200 mil, but I'm kind of taking a gamble on getting it if I do the Winter Todd Worlds. We're taking a little turn here. I don't want to say detour, but we're just taking a different path now. I said in the last video that if we got to 2,000 likes, I will go straight for the Grandmaster Combat Achievements, and we're at 1,960 at the time I'm recording this. 
I believe in you guys. I think you guys can go get my last video to 2000. We're only 40 away. I'm going to start doing some combat achievements now. And we're starting with Zora. I'm just trying to get the sub 54, sub one minute, and the perfect Zora, I guess. But I haven't done Zora in a bit, so I might take a few kills. I think I got the perfect Zora first try. Yep, perfect Zora first try. All right, now I can make all the mistakes I want and get a 54 second real quick. Nice, 55 second. I just need to get the 54 second now. There's a mutagen roll. All right, let's just get a fast kill. I could probably check the gear discord or something for how to get a fast kill, but I think we'll just we'll just zoom it and just try. Is that 54? I don't think that is. 48, oh, okay, we're done. We locked in, we did it. Let's go. Zora combat tasks are done now. Yeah, what do I not need an LE for? Because my LE is currently lent out. All right, let's get for Vorkath, I guess. We'll do a couple of Vorkath tasks. What you guys want? Bosses, Vorkath. Um, do I want to try the punching one? Is that what you guys want me to see? Let me punch it. There we go. 10 kill trip. Easy. All right, I just cheesed the hell out of that, even though I didn't bring anti-venom and my anti-fire ran out. Faithless encounter, no way. Did I get it? Do I get it? I got it. No way. You have to do dodging the dragon in the same trip, right, Zuni? Uh, Looney? Not Zuni. Wait. I got... Oh, that's the 124. Okay. Nice. I got Vorkath Speed Chaser, too. Dodging the dragon. Only task left now for Vorkath is the 54 second. I was trying this thing where I go live on TikTok as I'm doing my stream intro on Twitch. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it up. Uh, I tried it for a few times, but they won't give me a stream key to stream TikTok and Twitch at the same time on my PC. So I, I don't know, but that's why I'm talking to my phone at the start of this clip. All right, I'll put the I'll put this down for a second. I'll stay live for another minute. You guys can see my POV. Zulu gets third age on a clue. All right, child, let's open these clues real quick. GLGL. No way! Dude, that's my third gilded in like... I don't even know how many clues I've done since I came back to my main. I've had three gilded since I came back to my main, dude. TikTok, look at what I just got. I just got a gilded axe. That's so rare. That is so rare. Uh, what are you talking about, dude? Maybe streaming on TikTok is what gives me luck. Are you kidding me? Dude, there's no way I just got that. Okay, I didn't get anything from the second one. That's so insane. The angle, dude, I know. The angle's kind of funny. All right, two mediums. Nothing new. One easy, nothing new. Dude, I just got a gilded axe, bro. That's insane. Did I make it? I missed the tick during acid. Or two ticks during acid. I missed two ticks during acid, and those two ticks I missed. I missed two ticks during acid. That's so annoying. <laughs> Bro, where's my 19 at? Okay, is that it? 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 Oh, finally, dude, it was Jess's Torva. It was Jess's Torva. Shout out, Jess. You might have some questions about my gear and some of the items in my inventory, such as the God Book and the Void Waker. And the person that best explains it is Mulgo Kirby. I'd recommend going over to his channel. He makes some great videos on combat achievement stuff. It's a pretty long explanation, so I don't want to include it in this video. Just go over to his channel, Mulgo, Mulgo Kirby. And the joke I made about Jess's Torva, uh, I was, you know, getting a little superstitious because this task took me probably like five or six hours, unfortunately, because I was kind of just going for this task only. I wasn't camping Vorkath. You know, I have a 45 second from before, but that was just a long time ago when I was just kind of doing Vorkath and got lucky hits. If you're actually going for it, it's uh, it could take you a while. And so because I was superstitious, I was trading items with people. I was giving someone else my Torva for their Torva, my Lance for their Lance, etc. Getting superstitious. How did I get 45 seconds before? Long time ago, man. I probably hit like five Ruby specs or something with Void. I don't know. It was before CAs. Muspa next, I think, right? Yeah, Muspa next. 13 tasks. Incomplete. 
Only dealing damage to it with a salamander. All right, that's gonna be fun. I guess I'll do that one first. <laughs> 10 in one trip, sub two, no avoidable damage. Surrounded by spikes. How do I make that happen? Okay, perfect, Muspa. I'm just gonna type that. It's not perfect, but I'm just gonna type it. I'm making like a little notepad real quick. So I have to keep looking back at this. Less than, or sub 130, sub 130. There's the salamander kill. Was he surrounded or not surrounded? I don't know. Okay. More than just the ranged weapon. Let's go. Walk straight, pray true, done. Did I not get the manipulator? Is that it? Did I get it? There it is. The manipulator. Gaslighting unlocked. All right, 10 kill trip. All I need to do is remember to not leave the room. One more hit. Right there. 10 kill trip, I think. Yeah. Time to get the speed run kill. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. What time did I get on that? 132. Man, I got the two minute, but not, yeah, the hits were kind of bad on some of that. But, uh, all right, we need to get the 130. So we got the first one, the master one. All right, uh, let's go back in and get that again. So this same week that I'm going for this, uh, speed run uh, Muspa kill. Uh, Mulgo Kirby came out with a new guide on the Muspa skip uh, with Void Waker. And so I'm gonna buy a Void Waker. I actually have more money than this right now, but as I've said many times in previous videos, a lot of it's an RS3 right now. So I'm gonna buy this thing, 158 mil, hopefully it buys. Uh, and then I can use that for the, uh, the Muspa skip. And I'll link to his video below uh, in case any of you are curious on how to do that. Okay, apparently it'll insta buy for 160 mil. Let's just do that real quick. 160 mil. Boom. Casket. All right. Are we going to get a fourth gilded? Nope. Come on. Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That also took a few hours, but next up was next. Yo, Dragon Boots while I'm KCing. Let's go. There we go. I, I thought I got contain this because of nil shards. <laughs> contain this next duo and next trio. Oh, did that got that gave you the trio as well? Yeah, yeah, it gives you duo and trio. Oh my god, that guy got trapped. I almost got trapped with him. I'm ragging. Oh my god, oh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you get it? I got it. I should see a doctor. <laughs> I can't believe I just pulled off the perfect next in the mass, dude. That was so much easier. Okay, wow. For some of these God Wars tasks, I heard a little rumor that uh, to this day, it's still broken, apparently, where you can just do the private instance ones in a non-private instance. I'm not sure about the 50 kills or the 30 kills or whatever it is, uh, but things like the Black Salamander at Arma, apparently you can do that in a normal room. Uh, so I'm gonna try that right now. Although I guess because I'm doing it solo, I could do it in a public room um, anyways, but I'm going to try this and just see what happens. And if you thought I forgot my thing, I did not because I can just get it from here. Search it for a, well, I'm getting attacked, but yeah. Grappling crossbow. There we go. And with the elite tier, you don't need more than 30 kill count to enter the room. Uh, you, you only need 30 kill count to enter the room. Enter the room. So I'm going to go into a normal room. With a salamander, I'm either gonna waste my time and not get the achievement, or it's still broken apparently, and you will get the achievement. Uh, so let me brew up real quick, and then put on my uh, Torva and salamander, and uh, let's get this. Wow, the salamander hits horribly. I I was told melee was the best, um, but I'm hitting nothing. I'm gonna try range for a couple hits here. I might not get it on this trip because I uh, I think if I had like brought an ecumenical key and brought more brews, it would have been fine, but. I think I'm not going to get on this one, I'm not going to lie. Okay, range is also hitting just as bad, so back to melee. Okay, I hit a 41. I needed that earlier, dude. I'm 60 HP. I need to hit more of those right now. I'm tallying at like 40 HP, dude. Yeah, I should tell you. All right. Um, well, I'm going to try it again, but I'm not going to take, I'm not going to KC. I'll just use ec an ecumenical key. Round two. But I'm also doing this again in a public room, not a private room, um, hoping that this will work. Uh, I'm going to hop worlds because I don't know if it resets the kill or not on a um, normal world or normal room. Nobody's here. 
Let's tuck this on. Let's drop a restore. Do this. And let's get it. Ooh, a 46. That's apparently the max. Good start. All right, the hits are much better this time, dude. What the? I said that, and then, like, the last 30 hits have all been, like, nothing. Come on, one more hit. Is that it? All right, now to find out. Yep, you can still get it while not being in a private room. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Before my stream today, I'm just going to knock out a couple of other combat tasks. Um, there's some that are, like, TOA ones that aren't team. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at some other ones. I'm not sure if I want to do some Chambers ones or some Gauntlet. Uh, but I'm just kind of jumping around between some of the master ones. And uh, then I'm going to kind of like hone in on finishing individual bosses. I put on Sprint for it, Hardcore Run, and then all of the Wardens things for the Chompington one. Because uh, none of those affect uh, Chompington, you know, uh, Zebak. But it shouldn't be bad. Uh, and I just need to do the puzzle before it. Uh, I don't think I need to... Eh, maybe one stamina is fine. I don't think I need much for this task, but I will bring some brews. There we go. Easy. Okay, this next one I have to do... I'm going to try to do both the um, task for Stay Vigilant, Aerial Assault, and the one for uh, using only supplies given in the raid. I think I can do it. But if I can't, then I guess I'll just try to get one of the two. Or I guess if I don't, if I can't do it, then I gotta, I gotta leave and reset it. I'm also gonna switch to resizable. Oh, I walked into that. Oh, I walked into that. All right. I think I could do that next time, but I didn't know there was a mage. If there was no mage, then I had that easy. I turned off Stay Vigilant and Aerial Assault. Uh, I decided to just go for the No Supplies one without those on and go for that another time. I don't have a Golden Karis, the, uh, the Partisan of the Sun or whatever it's called at the moment, so I just wanted to knock out tasks one by one. All right, we got through the first two rooms. Now I can actually get supplies in the raid. There we go, no supplies from outside the raid. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything from this, but I guess we'll see. Uh, and now I can do the Stay Vigilant, another one, but it's also almost 4 p.m. and I probably gotta eat. Before I stream, so I don't know if I'll do TOA today on that, but look at that, nothing. Maybe I'll get a pet, who knows? Um, but yeah, I, I all those fails ended up making so I can only do this one. And no pet. Alright, bank. Just got a hard casket, but I also that reminded me that I forgot about these frozen caches when I was doing um Muspa. So let me open those real quick, see what I get. Limps and more limps. Alright. I couldn't find the clip of me doing collateral damage to the kill before this, but just like that, swoop no more. For the Ziliana task, uh, you have to kill it kind of like Kriara without ever attacking it directly. I think I'm going to chin Starlight, the uh, melee minion, until uh, that dies. And then I have the Venator bow. I'm going to go next to like Bree or Growler and uh, attack them. And the bounce off hit should probably do a good amount of damage. Although I might just chin it if it's not good enough. We'll see. But I got a KC first because... I don't have any keys right now. I'm curious how I'm going to do the 50 kill trip. I have no plans on it right now, um, but I think the 50 kill trip shouldn't be that bad in the future. Um, I might do it tonight on stream, honestly, uh, depending on how difficult it looks. Uh, I haven't killed Ziliana in a very long time. Oh, you need to charge the bow and bring ammo? I didn't know this either. All right, I'm going to bank real quick KC again. That was, it only took me like five minutes to get KC anyways. Shout out to Runelight. I just changed the left click option for Zilli to walk here, so I can't make that mistake again. All right, round two. Going to wait for this to go down and then go in. There's the moving collateral. There we go. Submit three minute uh, triple jads. Figured I'd do that one. Uh, I think I'll try the uh, three different attack style one next. Because uh, I don't think I need much inventory. I didn't use a single Brutos. Um, I used like four T's for that. That should be it. Yep, multi-style specialist. Nice. I'll do some of the other ones later. But there's a couple of the Jads ones done. All right. We return to the Big Bird. 30 kill solo trip. 30 kill trip done. All right, let's do this method the right way. I got to focus up while I'm learning. And this method I'm talking about is basically a five to zero, meaning you do five hits. You don't get hit once if you run correctly on the right tiles by the boss. Now, the minions can still hit you, uh, but you basically red X on this first tile that I just was on. And then you run over uh, to certain tiles. You have to walk in some of them. You have to run on some of them. The reds are where you attack. The orange is if you have to walk. I'm not sure what the green is. I don't remember. I think that might be if you're starting in the like the first kill of the room. But if you look at this, it's a pretty cool method. Uh, I'd recommend learning it if you have a five tick weapon like a Shadow or Tebow. Perfect. 
I did that one perfectly. Go. The clip saved like five seconds after I got the achievement, but Org Killer, which is just 15 kills in a private instance uh, without leaving. Pretty simple. There we go. Okay. No damage from minions for two kills. Now all I have left is the no damage from anything for a kill. Imagine I get the pet on the... I'm missing the pet. I'm 5422KC. Imagine I get the pet on the kill I get this combat task on. How sick would that be? Shit, I just need to hope here I don't get hit. Fuck! Strong sack hit me? I ran through him? I ran into him. I literally ran into him. I literally ran into strong sack. I literally ran into him. I literally ran into him. I, I should have stayed back. I literally ran into him, dude. I Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That's so stupid. I'm thinking. That's so dumb. I literally ran into him. <laughs> I, I've tricked you all. You all think I'm doing CAs. I'm really just hunting the pet at not optimal kills per hour. I've tricked you all. You're just watching a pet hunt at this point. Why did I run into him? Why did I do that? Oh, that's so funny, though. That's so funny. I don't care. That's so funny. I've got this. This is like, I should have got this. I've had four or so attempts now where it should have happened. This method is basically kill the mage minion or the range minion right before the boss spawns. Pray the other minion. So this, in this case, the range one, and then try to freeze the boss and the melee minion. Got to hit a zero. Blessed. And then once it's frozen, you just got to shadow it down. Do big DPS. You might have to do a second freeze. I had to do a second freeze. And if the mage minion spawns, pray that they're on a different tick than the range minion, which they should be because of the way that you do it, where you kill it before it spawns. And you should be golden. There it is. Keep away. Three, two, one. Ooh. Berserker ornament kit and a master, dude? Okay. Nice. I'll do the master before I open that hard because it might be another master. Hard first. Feel? Nope. All right. Will this master give me any log slot at all? I don't have many because of doing them before the collection log. Nope. And that's where we're going to end off this episode. We did a lot this episode. Lots and lots of combat achievements. More to come soon in the next video. Don't forget to like and comment for a chance to win an Armadale chest plate in this video. And last video was the Dragon Warhammer, which we're going to roll right now. And I appreciate you all so much. If you guys are enjoying the series again, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of the videos. Maybe check me out over on Twitch. I'm live most days, although I, you know, sometimes I'm not, but most days I am. Anyways, let's roll the giveaway before I close it out. All right, YouTube comment picker, as you can see, it is 1158 on the 11th of May, which is the day this, this video is going live. And uh, we're grabbing the link from the last video. 548 comments. A couple of those might be repeat comments, but let's grab this real quick. That... Uh, filter duplicate users, uh, solve some, is that, is that four, is that a plus sign or a divided sign? I think that's a plus sign. 11, enter, get YouTube comments. All right, it's pulling the comments right now. 300, 400, it should be five, 538. Does that mean I had, yeah, 10 duplicate comments or whatever? All right, start. The winner of the Dragon Warhammer is Marius Marius uh, Sidabros. Congratulations, sir. You have won. Let me find you in the comments first, but let me also grab your at because YouTube is weird like that. It has an at thing now. All right, find this. One comment. Where's my Dragon War hammer? Love the vids. Hey, well, it's right here. It's right here. Reply. All right, congratulations. If you want to be like this guy and win an armadillo chest plate, he's winning a Dragon War hammer. But if you want a chance to win, don't forget to comment and uh, like the video. Appreciate you all again. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.